Hi folks, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do December readings for all zodiac signs. Now, yes, these are general readings, take what applies, if it applies, you know what to do with the rest. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel, you guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info will be in the box below. If you'd like to learn tarot, I do have tarot card classes. There are five videos, they're $20 a piece, and there's a bonus video to go with it as well. Give me a shout if you're interested. And if you're interested in my mystery healing boxes, they make absolutely great gifts. Give me a shout if you want to know all about them. That being said, this reading is going to be for Leo. Let's see what's shaking with you in December of 2018. Oh, Leo, the light is coming soon. Absolutely. Let's get into this bottom of the deck. Lionhearts, you have the Knight of Wands, which comes from your suit there, as well as Aries, and as well as Sagittarius. This is a messenger, a messenger to take a course of action, to move on something. And I think that you do here, Leo. So let's get it. Leo, we're going to start off with the Four of Swords. Now here is taking a step back, taking a breath, reprioritizing, re-strategizing, making a plan, and making a backup plan. And what's crossing to help or hinder, Lionhearts, you have the Ace of Swords. Now here's the universe giving you this opportunity to see if you take it or not. An opportunity for the truth, clarity, an epiphany, an aha moment. In the mightiest suit of all, to cut off the things that no longer serve you. So Leo, if there's something you want to move on, or you should move on, take that pause. Think about and stay in your truth. Another way of looking at this is, you know, the truth comes to you and you need to take a step back and be like, whoa, wait a minute, this is a lot to absorb. And I'm feeling that kind of strong here, Leo, because in your foundation, you have the Ten of Swords. Now here's being lied to, backstabbed, cheated on. And you know how I feel about it. I'm done with you. Deuces. Tens are always at the end of a cycle. Ten swords in the back is too many. It's almost like this man's pinned to the ground. And Leo, this being your foundation, if you find out something, you know, the truth, and it's very hurting, whether it's a backstab, betrayal, and it can come from anywhere, friendships, partnerships, love ships, any one of those ships, Leo, you need to take that time. You need to take that time to heal. Feel the pain and then release it. Because what's crowning your whole reading here, Leo, is that you have the Five of Cups. Now, the Five of Cups is mourning the loss, regrets, sorrow. This guy's so busy, you know, being devastated over the two or the three cups that he's lost. If you just turned around, all hope is not lost, Leo. You still have two cups. In two cups, the two of cups in the tarot deck is that I get you card. That connection, that bond. Leo, whatever hasn't worked out before, probably wasn't meant for you. There's better out there for you. Now, in your recent past, you have the Hermit, also known as a Virgo. He's a seeker of knowledge. He doesn't rely on everybody else to find out what he needs to find out. He relies on himself. That way he knows the info that he finds to be true. 
The lantern is his intuition. He's guided by his intuition. Sometimes it means isolation. Sometimes it means seclusion. But the hermit is not lonely. He likes to be alone. He likes to be able to have that time to think, to process, to know, you know, the real person and their wants and their desires. This person is full of knowledge. So a lot of people go to seek him out or her. Leo, maybe before in the past, maybe you have closed yourself off and taken that break. Thought about things that, you know, have happened. And they're over now. Water under the bridge, Leo. Because going into your future, you have the Ten of Cups. Ride that unicorn. This is emotional fulfillment at its finest. Great home life. Spouses are fantastic. We're saddling up unicorns. Emotional fulfillment. Now, why not? You go from, you know, being devastated, this one, to finding happiness again. Contentment. And maybe that's that course of action, Lionheart, that you want to take. That pursuit of happiness. Not to stay in this. Leo, but to have this. Because how people see you in your environment, they see you as the Knight of Cups. You know, cups come from the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, suit, water. But he's a messenger. He's a messenger of something that's heartfelt, something sentimental. And people are looking at you like this, Leo. They're looking at you like you want to express something sentimental. Maybe to the right one. Maybe after a period of this, it's time to pursue happiness. And people around you see that you're ready, Leo. You're ready. Because in your environment, you have the three of pentacles. And the three of pentacles is being recognized for your fine skills, qualities, and grasp. Being recognized for that great person that you are. That guy is putting a shine on one particular pentacle. Now, Leo. Whether you work or hang out in a group of people. Someone sees you and they see you just being a little bit more special. Than the rest. You know, maybe somebody does have their eye on you. You have your eye on somebody. You know, maybe it's you that's putting a shine on a particular person. Because remember, this can go either way. But being recognized. Not a bad thing, Leo. Not a bad thing. Because in your hopes and in your fears, you have the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune is the Karma card. It's good karma, though, Leo, when it's in the upright. When you're on the bottom of this wheel and you're spinning up it, things start falling into place. Things start happening. <clears throat> a lot of times you're like, hey, I'm on a lucky streak. Things are just going my way. Because they're meant to. And everybody hopes for this. Leo, whatever you get yourself fired up on, Jaws and claws about whatever makes you passionate. If you take that time and thought about it and not to be here, <clears throat> but to definitely be here living in this house. Leo, your outcome card is the Ten of Pentacles. Booyah! This is having it all. The Kwong. You know, having the finances to pay all your bills. Have the money, you know, to go out and enjoy some of the fruits of your labor. It's that harmonious home life. That's having it all, Leo. And what a fantastic thing. You go from this 
to this, to this, three tens. Leo, stay on that pursuit. Seems to me you are on the right track. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel, and I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.